Let's take a look at this question next, 16th. Sin inverse 1 minus x minus 2 sin inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Then x is equal to what? How do we go about solving this one? Since this is a equation based, and this is an equation based, in, based on idea, let's try to solve this directly among principal values, right? Okay, this is sin inverse. Can I write it as pi by 2 plus 2 sin inverse x? Yes, maybe. Why did you do that? So that I can take a sign throughout and bring the sign over here. This will give me 1 minus x is equal to sine of pi by 2 plus 2 sine inverse x. Okay. What's the benefit of this? Sine of pi by 2 plus theta. Sine of pi by 2 plus theta will be equal to what? Sine of pi by 2 plus theta will be equal to, this is the second quadrant. It will be equal to cos of 2 sine inverse x. Okay. Now cos of 2 theta, what is that equal to? Cos of 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta or it can be done as 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Benefit, this can be done as 1 minus 2 sin square theta which is sin, sin inverse x. So this is sin square of sin inverse x or sin of sin inverse x whole square. Whole square. Okay. 1 minus 2 sin square theta. What is sin of sin inverse x? That's simply x. Okay, so this gives me 1 minus x is equal to this. Or it gives me 1 minus x equal to 1 minus 2x square. Okay, okay. What else? What else? Observe. Next. This gives me x equals 2x square. Okay. From here, I can note that x equals 0 or x equals 1 by 2. And x is equal to. That's the question that is asked, right? We'll have to check. Check the answers that we have obtained. Let's check 0 first. This sin inverse 1, which is pi by 2, minus 2 sin inverse 0, which is 0. Pi by 2 minus 0 is pi by 2, which implies that 0 is okay. What about this 1 by 2? Let's check this 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. Sin inverse 1 by 2 will be equal to what? Sin inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 6. 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. Oh, is it? 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. Yes, this is 2 sin inverse 1 by 2, which is equal to, once again, this was sin inverse 1 by 2. This is minus pi by 6 actually overall, which is equal to pi by 2. No, this is not equal to pi by 2. Therefore, x equal to half is not correct over here. The correct answer for this question should be only x equal to 0, which is option C. That's the correct answer for this question over here.